<laughs> Just sitting here recording. What are we doing, Alan? Change the tires like the, what you want to call it, old, uh, old school farmer way or too broke to take to a shop? I think both. Yeah. <laughs> What we're doing here is got the old, uh, what do you call these things, old jacks. Uh, High lift jack. Or uh, they got bumper jacks too, they call them. Yep. Um, set it in there. And, and we're using the Mighty M to have the hold down power. All we're doing here is uh, Breaking the bead off the rim. Kind of got to stand on the other side. Uh, Luby scooped uh, tire up to get it off the rim and so now what he's doing is he's using basically two pry bars to pull up the bead of the tire off of the rim. Doesn't take much on car tires when you get up to a truck size tire. Be and, and what what are you talking about there? What kind of truck, Alan? Not a semi, a uh, pickup. Pickup truck. You don't want to use this. I mean Method. Just take it to a shop. And there she be. Lube, lube the tire well once you break the bead because otherwise you're just going to be having dry rubber on a dry rim. If it's lubed up with basically any kind of you know soapy water, that type of deal, it'll, it'll come right off.
see if we can get this one as easy as we did the other one. This one's not all wore out like the other one was. Maybe. Kind of nice to have three buyers occasionally. Typically, you get one stuck. Just coming right around. See, and most of the time, you know, you might get a little, a little gouge in your little lip of the bead here, but it's not gonna really affect you'd have to come way up into here gouge it pretty much through and through to actually have an issue with your tire seating and holding air I do just want to stick the bar in and get it on the lip of the other side of the rim Crank down best you can. Yeah, I might need to use a little hammer action. Get her. Might be a little stuck on that side. I have been hitting the head with the screw bars before. It doesn't feel good. No, not at all. When I put a tire back on the rim, the valve stem towards me, and we ain't jeopardizing hurting it. All you want to do is get her set in there the best you can, piece of crowbars again, and slide her back on. Again, you want to reach in and Hit the lip. Drive it around. Right, so he's just working the, the first lip onto the rim. Perfect. Look at that. Halfway there. Yep. And we got about 10 minutes into this already. Kind of getting it set half moon type the bead. So it's tight on there and you can already see the rubber kind of moving. Ready to go back into where it needs to be. Get the speed actually set. You still have the valve stem out.
So in this case, we're going to put the valve stem in and just slowly give it air. And, uh, it should work, it's just a car tire. Yeah, it's not like a semi tire, we're going to have a cheetah. Alright, she's going. There's one side. Two. So now it won't leak air. We have to test it. Don't want to over inflate the tire. This tire has a max rating of 36 pounds. Just a little bit more, she's at like 33. And that's uh, when you put the tire, whatever way you want to call it, by hand. Two, way. two broke boys. Yeah, two broke boys. <laughs> See, there's a little gouge in that, uh, not necessarily gouge, but. Uh, Rim is bent up a little bit right there. I'm going to try and beat her down with a sledgehammer without hitting that uh, valve stem. Valve stem, so. Back to normal. Now we'll pull in old minivan, switch up, take the donut off. 15 minutes, look at that. We'll see you guys later. Full size donut. Ugly rim on these things. Woofta. What's that? It's crazy. Oh, just the ugliness of the rim. Oh yeah, it's just ugly. See, spare tire underneath, mounted underneath the van, you know. But I'm not putting it back underneath there because uh, the previous owner of this van lost the tools to work the mechanism to lower the tire on the cable. So I had to use a vice grips to turn the mechanism. And it can just ride in the back right here with all the tools. And, and Alan, what mechanism are you talking about? Well, the spare tire mechanism. This guy here runs a, from over here, cable. This is the cable, or this is the something else. I don't know what the hell that's for. That'll be for your uh, turn. Where you turn it, go. Oh, really? Yep. Well, shit. But then, see now, most of the time, these these will be junk inside because of just corrosion and rust and whatnot. But here's the cable. This little guy holds onto the rim, goes up tight. Most of the time, them are just uh, broken, don't work, and uh, so, yeah, I, just, uh, just cut them off. <laughs> yeah. I put a vice grips on this yep, guy. This should turn, so it'll bring that up and down type deal. So we'll probably end up just cutting her off. See, and this this cable right here, what you had, this this should turn that and make this turn inside to make your cable come up and down. All right, well, so, that don't work. They correct. Yes, it's just spinning itself. So. So, 
We'll just put a big old ugly spare tire right in the top drawer of the stand toolbox. <laughs> Literally in the top drawer of the Stanley toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> On the ground, not too shabby, there she be, see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.